Welcome to Monerica. <laughs> I am Ryan. I am the creator and founder of Monerica. And it's a directory for a Monero circular economy. So I'm going to go through what Monerica is in a little more detail, uh, what a circular economy is using Monero, different reasons to use Monero for economic activity, some tax and accounting issues you may face, how you can live off Monero today, different mentions of Monerica in online media, advertising, and also how you can start your own Monero-related business. And so Monerica is website, monerica.com, and I started it at the beginning of uh, 2022, and it's a global directory of the legal businesses in Monero that have, and also different tools like, and utilities like uh, wallets and things like that. Um, and it simply answers the question of what can you do with Monero? I was tired of people asking, what ca can you do with this? So I went through and aggregated all the different things you could do. And different businesses, all kinds of businesses, exchanges, resources, resources. there's also like nonprofits like Crypto for the Homeless, so different causes, but not political causes, just more humanitarian. Um, and importantly, it helps Monero users, it tries to help Monero users know what's a legit site and not, so if there's a site that someone has used that they, they say they're a customer of, it can be verified. If it's something that someone says is a scam, I don't want other people to fall for that kind of scam, so it can be identified that way. And there's an audit history of each of the entries so you can see if it was ever flagged or there was some kind of bad comment about it. And it, it, the code that runs it is, is open source on GitHub and it's written in C Sharp, SQL, HTML, CSS, and there's no JavaScript on it. And a Monero circular economy is a way to earn, spend, and save in Monero so you don't have to go to and from different currencies and incur all these different kinds of fees that are implicit in that process. And by participating in the Monero circular economy, you contribute to making the protocol better and the tooling better. So if the, if the program, if people want to, what's the, what's the justification for improving Monero protocol if no one is going to use it? So this is a way to just further enhance it. The more people that use it, the more justification there is to start new companies, the more reason there is to improve the protocol and make it better. And it's basically using Monero as is. Obviously, there's many upgrades that can happen to Monero, and probably there will always be some, but it's not about getting lost in all the tech talk. It's about using what's available today. And why would you want to use Monero for any economic activity? Well, of course, you have self-custody of your funds, and that's obviously important so that it can't be taken from you. Um, the, the transaction costs are low, so it's much easier to justify using it. Like, if you're taking uh, payments as a business, like an online business, like with Stripe or PayPal, like, they'll take, like, 3% and a transaction fee, so, having Monero, it's much, it's much easier to not be subjected to that. Also, it, it, you have access to the money faster, the faster settlement. So having the ability to have the funds settled in 20 minutes is much better than having it settled in three to four days where the bank is lending your money and earning interest on it. They could send it to you quickly, but they're not going to. They don't, they don't have a real incentive to because there's not as much competition. So. Uh, fast settlement is important so that there's a higher velocity of money and people can you know, receive it and start spending it very quickly. And this is across all borders, obviously. If you're using PayPal or something like that, uh, it could take even longer than three or four days to get your money settled into your bank. And unlike Bitcoin, Monero has a perpetual block reward, tail emission, um, and it provides some justification for using it beyond just savings. So it encourages it to be, it encourages spending to happen. 
And I think that's important. Obviously, all crypto is approaching the, eco the economy from different angles. But I think one of the values with Monero is the idea that you want to use it. And different things that you will try to sell or vendors that I see selling and a lot of like uh, payment processors, you're going to price things in fiat currency, generally speaking, um, just for your own accounting reasons to know if your business is profitable or not. So when a business tries to sell something for Monero, they're generally getting a market rate that expires at some point in time and they can price things in you know dollars or euros or yen or whatever they want. And you should consult a, a crypto tax professional that accepts Monero. There is, there is one that accepts Monero. He's happy to take your business. He's received business because of Monero, um, in Monero because of Monerica. And what's required for your you know, specific jurisdiction is something you'll have to, you'll have to assess for your own specific needs. Um, you, you should, to have a full circular economy, you should advocate for Monero to be integrated into the state uh, so that you can actually pay your taxes and it can be illegal tender and there, it's not considered a property. And over time, this is possible. I mean, in the state of Colorado, you can pay your state income taxes with Bitcoin already. So as much as it might seem like a crazy idea, like governments are already allowing this. So things start at a state level and they can eventually go to the federal level. So it is possible. Um, and, and if nothing else, you could just convert it to Bitcoin and pay that way in those situations. So living off Monero, I think that's something that uh, is the end goal of Monero itself. And so there's many layers to this. The most practical are prepaid uh, virtual cards, or you can get physical cards as well. Um, and these can be added to Apple Pay or Google Pay for in-person transactions. And you can chain these cards together. So like in America, if you go to like a grocery store, they allow you to f use multiple forms of payment. So you could have like $1 left on a gift card or a prepaid card, and then you can do the next like remaining balance with a second card and the next remaining balance with a third card and so on. And this is just a very practical way to use uh, Monero in real life by having these kinds of cards. And uh, it's, it's, it's easy like to do it this way because if you're in another country and you lose your credit card and you're not gonna be able to get it issued to you, then one option is to, if you have Monero, you can go through some of these different services and sites that allow you to buy one of these cards and use it, use it that way. And in addition to these prepaid cards, there's also gift cards. So instead of buying like basically uh, a, a card that can be used at any Apple Pay terminal, you can, if you just shop specifically at certain merchants, you can use them that way. So Uber credit, you can add to Uber to take, you know, to travel, um, Amazon, uh, grocery stores, like there's big stores like uh, Kroger, they have gift cards that you can you can buy with Monero. There's really lots of different ones, and they are like nation specific. So um, those are concerns you may have, like, but you can buy them that way. And in addition, another layer, another level is like shopping proxies. So if you want to buy something on Amazon, for example, there are companies on Monerica that will help you buy things on Amazon. So you can give them like a cart worth of things you want to buy, and you can buy those things on Amazon that way. And they can deliver it to your home or they can deliver it to a locker. So in addition to being able to use Monero in that way, you can uh, prevent a Amazon from having your data. Uh, if you have a, an address that you can have things delivered to, you can also uh, buy food and drink related products there. Um, you can have like coffee or there's, there's, a, there's a marketplace in Europe um, that you can de get all kinds of different like meat and cheese delivered that you can have that way. Uh, clothing, there are clothing companies. Beyond, there are Monero merchandise, of course, but there's other clothing and apparel 
uh, technology stuff. You can get uh, laptops and phones, and there are marketplaces with like a million products on them already that accept Monero um, that you can use. So I personally receive income from like advertising revenue from Monerica, and I've been able to eat pretty much like all of my groceries this whole year with Monero. So, I mean, it's it's possible. Uh, Monerica has because it's become the resource for every business and every business that's uh, accepting Monero like is pretty much on there at this point. It's gained some attention in the Monero community. And on shows like um, Monero Talk and at Monerotopia and at conferences, it, I, Monerica was a partner for Finny Forum. And Monero Mateo is, has said very positive things about Monerica as of being a very important site. He's an accountant on the, uh, on the directory. And there was a whole video about Monerica um, on Mental Outlaws YouTube channel. And this channel has about 600,000 subscribers. It w that video's had about 80, uh, 85,000 views on it. And he's also made reference to using Monero uh, as well. He has a market of his own, but he's very much on board with this and advocating to this to a greater population of people. And uh, through different SEO-related tools that I have, I can see different blogs and forums that have commented and referenced and linked to Monerica. And the trend is pretty much people throughout the internet answering the question for other people that I'm trying to answer, what can you do with Monero? And they link to Monerica. And advertising is how Monerica um, exists as a business. And one of the problems that's solved, so crypto companies do struggle to reach their customers because Facebook, Google, Twitter, all these gigantic tech you know, companies they don't like crypto companies. They make it difficult to advertise. And so how are small businesses on Monerica going to be able to reach any new customers when every door is locked and there's nothing you can do? Well, you can advertise on Monerica, and there are spots for subcategory advertising and at the top of the page. And this is how you can grow your business. Uh, and that's one thing that people have told me, one of the hardest things with having a business in crypto or accepting Monero is getting new customers. So I'm trying to help. I get free, you have a free listing and then you can pay to have more promotion on your, on your listing. And some of the most, uh, some of the advertisers that are currently, uh, the con consistent categories are like instant exchanges, prepaid cards, gift cards, proxies to buy things on Amazon, VPN companies. Uh, web hosting companies. These are these are all profitable businesses that uh, are are spending money on advertising on Monerica. And so, I want to encourage everyone to make a business that accepts Monero. If you have an existing online business that you want to grow, you can use different e-commerce plugins, like for WordPress. Uh, Monerica has. It's, it's not just the business listings, it also shows you all these different merchant services, and you can integrate it with your existing platforms with relatively low friction, or you can just start a whole new business. And there are there is an accountant, and there are legal professionals on Monerica that can help you. There are marketing companies, there are design agencies, they can help you make a logo, they can help you make a website, you can find programmers, you can find different services. There are proxies for uh, postage. You can do printing. There's really enough resources at this point to be able to bootstrap an entire business in Monero, and also web hosting, domain registration. And um, yeah, my goal is to encourage everyone to make a business. And if you're not going to do that, then just remember one thing. Just use one arrow. <laughs> and if you want to go to the site or submit a listing or revise a listing or say 
that there's uh, something that people should or shouldn't use that you've used, then you can go and find a listing and submit a revision and an edit. Uh, you can contact uh, Monerica through email or you can follow on Twitter. When there are new like listings, I try to, sh to post those. Um, and then the code base itself for other features or um, different parts of it that can be improved. So, and, and now if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer.